In this video, I am going to pose a question, and it is not rhetorical. My hope is that uh, some of you that are thinkers also will respond to me and give me your, uh, your input, your feedback, your perspective. So here's my quandary. We know those of us that have studied philosophy and have agreed to the NAP, the non-aggression principle, we know that we should not aggress against others. However, we agree that it is okay to defend ourselves if someone else aggresses against us. So it's very clear if we are walking down the street and someone walks up to us and punches us that we can grab them and use violence to restrain them and keep them from punching us again. That's a clear-cut case. What isn't so clear-cut is if there's a time delay. If we see a person and they say to us, tomorrow when I see your wife on the street, I'm going to walk up to her and punch her in the face. And then we have a conversation with the person, say, hey, please don't do that, neighbor. What have we done to offend you or hurt you or whatever? We want to fix it. We apologize. What can we do to make it right? Let's say this person is being knucklehead and says, no, this is just how it is. Uh, here's my, you know, here's my list of all the people that I've done this to. I do one a day. I walk up and punch one woman in the face a day. And tomorrow it's going to be your wife while she's, you know, out and about. I said, gosh, is there anything I can do so that you won't do that? And they say, no, or I'm going to do that. And let's just say that my wife needs to go there. She has every right to go where she's planning to go anyway. And let's say I don't want this guy to punch her in the face. And may I walk up to him a few minutes beforehand and grab him and restrain him while she walks by? I was the person to first initiate violence, wasn't I? Was his threat of violence actually violence? Should I be expected and should my wife be expected to completely avoid that area? Can he lay claim to that area and then 50 other areas, 5 million other areas, so that we can't move freely? I don't know. What if he says he's going to do it next year? Can I go and shoot him tomorrow and so that he never does that to me or anyone else? Seems to me that that would be excessive. Where does, it, where does that fall? How does this whole thing work? Uh, it's easy again when it's a clear-cut example, but on this kind of thing, what are your thoughts?